It's early June now in the Canary Room. Um, one of the greatest challenges for Canary breeders, uh, for breeders of, of any birds uh, in this kind of an environment um, is mice. Um, it's a, an almost constant battle um, which requires vigilance, vigilance and vigilance. Um, cleanliness uh, is, is no guarantee at keeping them at bay. Um, the weather this year has been uh, crazy. We've had some of the hottest days on record um, here in the UK. So it's been you know, stunningly warm and then we've had rain and, 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 and the weather's been up and down. Um, the heat is um, a, a magnet, a magnifier if you like for mite. Today's top tips, we're gonna show you how we clean the cages down. Now, I do know that we've got both northern mite and red mite in the canary room. Uh, now, many canary fanciers will tell you they've never had a mite, they've never seen a mite in their entire life, and to be honest, um, I'm not sure that I believe them. Uh, it is a vigilance, it's about keeping on top of things. I'm gonna show you um, some northern mite and some um, red mite in a moment. You may well be able to see in this uh, little plastic dot is um, some little grey specks. Uh, there is a large number of them in here. Uh, the majority of them aren't moving, um, but they are northern mite. Now, northern mite will walk um, from one host to another. They generally live on the birds. Um, and they live in the bottom of the nest pans. You can see um, that they will walk around the edges of the nest pans, um, and that can be a telltale sign that they are in a nest. Now, red mite will feed on a bird, but generally they'll hang around in the gaps. Uh, you can see that there's one there and one there on my hand. There's one here as well. There's a couple of younger ones there. Um, they're not red at the moment. And the reason they're not red is because I've taken them from a cage where uh, there isn't any birds. So they haven't fed. They go red because basically they suck the blood out of your birds. So one of the treatments um, that we use in the canary room, particularly when there are young in the nest. Now there are a couple of young in here, a cinnamon uh, and a lightly variegated, is Johnson's anti, anti mite insect powder. I'm told now they've stopped making this, uh, although you can still get it. There's, there's obviously still a supply around. Um, I'm also told Johnson's baby powder, talcum powder, has exactly the same effect. So um, it's just about drying the mite out. Now, there's young in the nest here. I wouldn't spray these with another product that I use simply because they're too young. But what I will do is just give a light little puff on here. Uh, it won't harm the birds. The mite don't seem to like it. Um, I know there will be um, mite in this nest. I can, in fact, as we're talking, I can see mite moving around here. So we'll give them a spray, um, and we'll get, um, you know, we'll do our best to get rid of them. But that's one of the first things that we use, which is Johnson's anti mite insect powder. So you can see this cage has had birds in it. Um, up until about 48 hours ago. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all of the, the cage furniture off, but I'm gonna leave the perches on for now. Um, I'm gonna take the hopper off. Um, that's a place where Mike can hide and, and hold. I'm gonna take these off now. You'll know that we put these on for um, the hens in the year. Um, and I'll take this off. You can see as I take this off, it's all about nooks and crannies. There's a couple of mites on there. We'll get rid of those in a minute. Um, if I look here and we zoom in, you can see that this is the grit, um, which we replace on a weekly basis. But underneath, if I lift it up, you can see that there's lots of little horrible crawlies. This is another solution that I use, which is the spray. I will use this on the birds, just not the young birds, because it's too strong. It kills on contact. So if I spray, you should see immediately uh, that those things, those little mite there are now no longer with us. 
So it's important when you do this, obviously, that there are no birds here. I'm going to be very careful. There are young in the nest in the cage below. Uh, I'm going to spray into the corners um, along the back wall, into the nooks and crannies, onto the perches. I'm going to give that a second to soak in. Now, what I'm quite pleased with so far, uh, and that just I think shows you the, um, the lengths that we do go to to keep the canary room uh, tip top, is that there isn't a big flood of green anywhere. There's a little bit around the cage front here, um, and that's really all that's about visible in there and that's because we do keep on top of this we do keep it fastidiously clean you know i've left some things in there to, to show for filming today um but it's a daily daily battle uh, against might so what i'm going to do is i'm going to strip this cage down now i'm going to wash it down um and then i'm going to clean out the cage furniture and i'm going to leave it empty um for the time being So what we're going to do now is, um, these are just all-purpose antibacterial wipes. You can get them uh, from pretty much any major supermarket. Um, I'm going to take one of these down uh, and out. Um, these are hinted with orange. It doesn't really make any difference. We're going to wipe round the cage. Um, you can see that we've not seen uh, a great deal of, uh, or any in fact, green, which is a really, really good sign. So, you know, we know that there were some mite there. We saw them. Um, so we give the back of the cage a scrub. We give the floor a scrub. We're getting all the nooks and crannies with this. And that's pretty much done for us now. So we've, uh, we've sprayed the cage. We've got our puffer now. Uh, I'm going to just go down into the crevices and the cracks in between the perches. Uh, I'll go on top there. They go into all the holes to fix in place. Um, and then I'll spray into the holes in the cages. And again, it's a... Uh, It's about vigilance, it's about keeping on top of things. Um, I'll give the cage a spray, give a spray in the corners. You can see there's a, there's a cloud in there now that will form a film on the cage that the um, mice are not supposed to like. I'm not gonna put any cage furniture in here yet. I'll put that cage in there. I'm not gonna need it for a couple of days. Before I use it again, I'll give it another treatment through. Uh, and then I'll move the birds into it. Um, that's this week's top tips. That's how we try and battle against mite in the canary room. So that's the latest of our how-to guides for our YouTube channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, like and comment down below, please. Give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can see full uninterrupted episodes of the canary room they run to about 40 minutes long by signing up at our website which is www.thecanaryroom.tv subscribe to the show now thanks for watching